Hey everybody, this is Tony Renee down at Hangar Bay in Jackson, Louisiana, and we've got a great bottle for y'all today. So, this is going to be a 100% mile back out of Argentina. Y'all take a look at the label on it. So, this is a 2019 vintage. Uh, it does come from a state vineyard. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, this was a, a really uh, good bottle, but it was it's just one of those that, that we felt like we needed to do a review because it's two different bottles, whether you drink it just as soon as you open it up or if you actually let it open okay. and, and acclimate and everything else, get the tanning strips and everything else. It's, it, this is a very tight bottle. It's just really tight. Right. Uh, so whenever we first opened it up, uh, our, the nose that we got on it was, was very, very earthy and, uh, and a little bit of dark fruit and just like a hint of leather or something in there. Yep. But, uh, but once you let this thing open up, it just completely changes. Now the, the earthiness has sort of gone away. You see a little and, bit more fruit forward in, this, in the... In the nose on it, mm -hmm. yeah. The, the nose is a lot more fruit forward. It, it's now like... Spices sp and fruit. Fruit, yeah. So uh, so anyways, uh, on the initial palate on it, we, we got it. It was just like what it smelled like. It was real earthy and a mineral type uh, flavor and and leather and spice and, and raspberry and, and just a little hint of pepper on it. Mm -hmm. uh, but once it opened up, man, this, this thing's totally, totally different. Now that it's opened up, you're gonna get a lot more like plum and cherry and a lot more sweetness to it. Uh, initially, this one didn't have a, a whole Any lot of sweetness. sweetness at all. I mean, it was, I, I wouldn't even call it semi-sweet. It was, no. it was just, Full blown earth, and uh, and just more Savory. minerally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the mouthfeel is very heavy on this one, so this is going to be a, a, a very heavier feeling type. Uh, it's going to go a lot better with like your wild game and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it, we we both really enjoy this wine. Yes. Uh, so this is this is one that we think that everybody should come check out. It, it's only nineteen ninety nine a bottle. But not uh, if you're starting out drinking wine. Yeah. This is not going to be one of your just pick right. up saying oh let me try it yeah no you need to be a little bit more experienced on drinking wine to appreciate this one. yeah it, it's it's not like your standard cabs or pinots no. or anything like that it's in the it's gonna have a lot of dryness on the back side mm -hmm. which some of that does get a little bit better as it actually it had no dryness at first, at first now but it once does. it opened up it's got a lot more dryness and you can start to get those hints of acidity and, mm -hmm. and sort of the french oak influence on it Anyways, y'all come down to the hangar bay, y'all come check out this mile back, and come see us.